Now we have a question from calculus. I'm having some trouble uh, memorizing the derivatives of uh, the trig, func trig functions. Okay. Um, I do know that the derivative of sine is cosine. Okay. And that the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Okay. Well, that's good because once you know those two, um, you can derive all the others. And one of my best professors in mathematics always said, that never memorize anything that you can derive. I can tell you that after a bit of use, what will happen is you'll just remember them automatically, but there is a lot to memorize if you have to memorize all six of them, and they're easy to get confused. Um, you do know the quotient rule, don't you? Yes. Okay, so we can use the quotient rule uh, to figure out what the derivatives of these are. Let's take a uh, look at the derivative of secant just as an example derivative of secant x. Well, you know that secant is the reciprocal of one of these, and as a matter of fact, this is going to be the same thing as the derivative of 1 over cosine x. Using the quotient rule, what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of the numerator times the denominator, so that's going to be the denominator is cosine x, the derivative of the numerator is 0, minus the derivative of the denominator, which is negative sine x, times the numerator. This is just the uh, quotient rule, right, so right. far? And that's all going to be over the denominator squared, just the quotient rule. Now let's take a look. Anything times 0 is 0. Over here, I have negative sine x, but this negative distributed through is going to make it positive, so I'm going to have sine x over cosine squared x, and that is equal to sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x. Well, sine over cosine is simply tangent x, and 1 over cosine is secant x. So the derivative of secant x is equal to tangent x times secant x. And you'll notice that simply using the quotient rule with your uh, with these two derivatives of sine and cosine and the fact that secant is equal to 1 over cosine, uh, you are able to derive the derivative of secant x. The other three functions that we haven't covered are derived in much the same manner.